You know, it's not bad to be unique. It's not bad to be different. These are your God-given qualities coming out, making you uniquely who you are. In Romans 12, verse 2, the Bible says this, Be transformed by the renewal of your mind, that you may prove what is the will of God, and what is good, and acceptable, and perfect. Be renewed by the renewal of your mind. This is the shaping of your mind, the, the melting of your mind into a magnificent, thinking, creative, inventive machine. Not just about what you do with your hands, but what you do with your body and your life. You are a unique expression. If you ever go into a jewelry store, you will look at the various diamonds, and each one is a unique cut. A diamond has many facets, and each facet adds to the brilliance, and I'll even say the quality of the stone. The facets of one diamond distinguish it from all others, making it very unique. Well, like the diamond, there are many different qualities to each one of us. And these traits, well, they shine forth. The light of God coming through us to make us special and to make us unique. As we express qualities, God qualities, such as love, God qualities such as compassion, God qualities such as understanding, God qualities such as forgiveness. In our interactions with others, we give unique expression to the light of God that dwells within us. And we express the light of God in all that we do. Nothing can limit us because we are never less than God's perfect creation. The qualities that we express bring forth beauty that is absolutely inherent within us as God's beloved creations. May you feel this. May you be one with this today. For I tell you, my friend, you are a unique expression of divine light of God.